Hi Capricorn, welcome to a windy day here up in uh, the, the northern part of the British Isles. Now here we've got an interesting month coming up here. There's some uh, potentially very significant moves happening, some different uh, dynamics coming in. We're having two eclipses and uh, also the move of Jupiter from Virgo into Libra. So. Uh, there's a solar eclipse on the 1st of September and there's a lunar eclipse on the 16th of September in Pisces. The lunar, uh, the, the solar eclipse is the one I just want to say a few words about here. That one's happening in Virgo, in um, your house of travel. It's quite an expansive house, so it it is uh, connected to travel or education, so expanding the mind. Um, and it singles a time of new beginnings related to these things, related to your philosophy in life, uh, but also ideologies, your own, other people's. And uh, this is a great time for you to uh, plunge into something new and get the broader view on something um, different, something that maybe you haven't tried out before or a way of thinking that you haven't tried before. It's also the area to do with communications and broadcasting across a wider stage. This cycle uh, will continue for the coming six months. So in and of itself the eclipse energy is like a, a changing of a gear, it's a sort of a neutral energy, it's a culminating energy because it's a, it's, uh, there's a um, there's a culmination feeling to it, but there's a, there's a new beginning feel, feel to it because it's a new moon. So during the solar eclipse, the sun and the moon uh, will be opposing Neptune in Pisces and at right angles to Mars and Saturn. Neptune in Pisces, during a long transit of Neptune in Pisces over many years, is in a really good angle to your sun sign. So when planets are in good angles, it tends to bring out their less grumpy sides, their more kind of upbeat side. Um, Mars and Saturn is actually in quite um, not a strong angle to your sun sign, um, but it might be in your natal chart. We can't know that, but uh, not a strong angle to your sun in your sun sign chart. Um, but the uh, position of the eclipse, the sun and the moon, and also Mercury and Jupiter are in a really strong angle and a good angle and a beneficial angle to your sun sign. These energies are quite tricky though uh, across across the whole world. I mean not just in your chart. The energies of um, the eclipse is uh, um, uh, at the time that Neptune is at the set, a very close degree to the eclipse and also Mars and Saturn are at a very close degree to the eclipse mean that though they will be bound up with the eclipse wave of energy as it pushes through the coming six months and they are at conflicting tense angles to each other which is why I'm pointing out that the eclipse position and Mercury and Jupiter which are also going to be bound into the eclipse energy and push through it for the uh, through the coming six months are in a good angle to your sun sign, especially those of you born later in the month. But the eclipse degrees itself will influence most strongly those of you born in the last week of the month, that's to say December or the first week of the next month, or with, a, uh, uh, with around about um, 4 to 15 degrees rising. Or we could say 7 to 12 degrees if we want to narrow it right down. So um, <clears throat> now uh, this uh, eclipse energy means that there can be mistrustfulness or people getting the wrong idea. Um, if it's really, really strong in your chart, then pay attention. Um, but if, if not, then some people might not notice it particularly, but might might see the evidence of this across the wider stage or indeed um, with those um, in authority in our world who make decisions that drag the rest of us along with them. So um, the rule of law might tighten for instance. Um, this Mars-Saturn thing, um, Mars coming close together with Saturn, your ruling planet, is a, like a detonating um, uh, influence for the whole configuration, which is a working triangle or a T-square. Um, so it needs 
somewhere to release its energy. It needs somewhere to release its energy. Mars Saturn is very, almost like a um, huge amount of energy within a steel casing. Uh, it, it builds and it builds and it builds and it gets very, 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 very hot. And it, the, the best way to um, find an outlet for that is step-by-step, -step, disciplined, persevering, dogged work in the area of Mars Saturn. For you, it's in very much a background area. It's in an inward, private area. It means that you should be busy behind the scenes, preparing, preparing, preparing. You should be sorting out things from the past. You should be drawing a line under, a, under an account to do with the past. Um, uh, it's um, you being there more as a support, you being there more as in a selfless kind of a way whilst this preparation is going on. This is happening anyway because of the position of your ruling planet Saturn being in the sign before yours, um, but particularly being pushed along with this eclipse energy from September the 1st for the coming six months. And in some cases it can be longer than six months, but just in a general way it's six months until the next solar eclipse happens. Um, so this will be petering out next February. Um, it means that uh, you're in more self-reflective mode. You are um, listening or, or working more intuitively or more imaginatively on something. And that's a strong um, emphasis in that background, backstage, pulling the strings maybe from backstage area there. Um, because the eclipse pushes that on through for the six months. But also, even though Mars will have left there, uh, Mars is only going to be in there until the 27th, actually. Saturn will stay in there until the end of 2017. So follow your inner light. Um, in a way, there's not enough proof, evidence, support, clarity to really make a strong decision and take a strong action with that kind of setup there with Mars Saturn there. Because your energy are turned are turned inwards you might feel more easily influenced by those around you. I would say you need to bring in that real strong Capricorn boundariness here at the same time as being open-minded and reaching out into an area which is less contentious, um, which just tastes and smells better to you, really, <laughs> or um, on the on the level of ideologies, on the level of educa education, on the level of other cultures, those at a distance travel as well. Um, that's an area there where you can get that kind of uplifting feeling. Mercury is expanding your mind and you should be entertaining new potentials outside of the box. You should be thinking bigger now and that that eclipse energy is going to push that on through for you. That more kind of like let's do a Google map zoom out here and look at what is happening because I think that is more your safe space, your safe place. The uh, the energies, um, I spoke about this last month, the Saturn-Neptune energy, and, um, you know, it's it's not easy. Um, uh, it might mean that there's dubious things going on, and um, it wouldn't be good to get sucked into somebody else's mm, dream, ideology, um, somebody else's plan. Um, uh, which doesn't f doesn't feel doesn't feel right to you. Okay. Um, now then, so now you need to be in this communicative, also learning mode, picking you know p maybe maybe just finding the pieces of the puzzle that you needed uh, to find, particularly in this month. That's the position of Mercury, but also that will be pushed on through the six months. Um, even though Mercury will have moved on the on the level of transiting, the Mercury Jupiter energy will still be around, maybe in a strong way, maybe really, really in a very, very diluted sort of a way for you, depending on the degrees in your chart. 
Um, Mercury is retrograde this month as well, so that's up until the 22nd, so things might be a bit slow, a bit delayed, there could be postponements or cancellations, um, and that can be slightly annoying at times. Um, some people get this Mercury retrograde really strongly because they've got a strong Mercury in their chart, Gemini, Virgo, or, and some don't really notice it very much at all, <clears throat> uh, but can notice it with what's going on on the wider stage. Um, and until the 24th, Venus is helping you to create more favourable circumstances with authority figures. It's like authority figures or people in position of power are more likely to be well inclined towards you or more on your side or you can you can you can you can make a connection with them anyway and uh, or on turn that around you yourself could be the one in a position of power or the one that somebody else is coming to for support and you enable them you take on um you know you take what they're saying and what they're needing on board and and you're the you're the one there for them um and then from the 24th, uh, Venus uh, is moving and then warming up group relationships, friendships, very sociable area there. You feel supported by others. You team up with others. You, you mix and mingle more there. Um, and uh, activities can be um, unusual in some cases, you know, a little bit off the beaten track, perhaps, uh, trying something new. Um, Mars is about initiating things. And so you might feel that you want to... Um, sorry, Ven Venus, Venus, uh, but Mars is about initiating things and um, Mars is going to be in your sign. So with the position of Venus, Mars will really pick up that pick up that energy uh, of, of Venus there and you could be quite active, quite outgoing. Mars finally coming into your sign again after such a long time. You could feel quite a boost of energy there. Um, you're not so uh, much just um, perhaps feeling things inside of you, being quite introspective, um, but coming more out, being more sociable and that looks like a really sociable time there from the 24th but particularly from the 27th as well. So, um, and uh, there's a little bit more uh, written up about that on my website, but now uh, Jupiter, as I said, is moving. Uh, Jupiter is moving out of uh, Virgo where it was, he was in a very good angle to your sun sign and going on into Libra. You Capricorns born from the 7th of January up to 27 degrees are going to be feeling the energy of the last bit of the transit of uh, Jupiter in Virgo and uh, you'll ha have the opportunity to push the envelope of life, really um, broaden your, uh, broaden your, just just your picture of the world and um, through the speak, spoken or written word, language, uh, academia, and it's a great vibration for um, letting the, beating the drum on something, letting the world know know about something because the boundaries of your known world is likely to stretch. And then from the ninth, Jupiter goes into your, at the top of your chart, into your area of career and overall life direction. And this puts Jupiter into a powerful angle with your sun sign, not as easy peasy as the previous one, but it's more of a productive one, perhaps, uh, meaning more do doors swinging open um, and um, you may be making some changes there, Puzzling maybe which is the best way to go, but making some changes in the your outer image or how others see you in the world, the responsibilities that you have in the world, and that and you will um, have the chance to be doing something for your professionally or in your general direction in life that you identify with more closely. You Capricorns born in the first few days of the sign or with up to five six degrees rising will feel this energy the most this forecast period. And as for Uranus, uh, Capricorn's born the 12th to the 15th of January or the 23 to 25 degrees rising, same as last month. And Pluto in your sign, um, those of you born the 3rd to the 8th or with 14 to 17 degrees rising are going to feel that energy the most. And, and um, you guys are having this radical makeover, um, this real, real, real slow sea change in your life um, 
which when you come out the other end you will not be the same as when you went in okay well that's it for now if you know your rising sign or your moon sign listen to those and also if you want to check out any of this material it's on dianagarland.com and uh, I wish you well and I'll see you the next time <laughs>